Hello, it's John Group of Purebred Angus Heifers. Uh, bought these heifers out of South Dakota a few weeks ago. Uh, they're shedding all their winter hair off. They're kind of red tinge. They'll be jet black once they shed all that crud off. But uh, good natured heifers. Walk on girls. Again, they're really good natured. Walk on. <laughs> they're in a big old pasture full of green grass and they won't move. <laughs> I mean, my plans are, if I don't sell the next few days, uh, I have a good, powerful group of low feet Angus bulls, uh, typically, you know, Griswold bred. Well, if I don't sell the next couple days, again, I'll, I will synchronize these girls, and the bulls are coming on Thursday, and come by the weekend, they'll be getting it on. Getting these heifers way, guys, in the 750, 775 range. How to catch, yeah, to good enough average on these girls. Good nature, they make some great cows. Again, this time I like bringing Northern Genex down here. I, I see a lot of guys are, are what they're using as, as purebred Anguses and, or Angus types and whatnot. So I like to have some, a good seed stock to, where people can go. Then they can put their own tweak on it, whether they're going with Charlays or Simitals or down in the South, Brahmins or Gertz or Beavmasters. Mm -hmm. She's kind of gimpy. Uh, whatever I sell, I promise you, she's going to be a, she's maybe a little foot right. It's going to be a color moving well. So whatever she's kind of gimpy or I'll go through and make sure it's all shaped right. It'll be an even deal. And a good group of heifers, guys. I've got 40 more in the backwoods. They're more or less the same thing. It's just this this group is closer to me, so I video these right now. So, I mean, nice group of heifers here in Bowling, Texas. And I'm Clayton Hobbits. Hope you have a blessed day. Adios.